Listen, lads. The 50 series is here. It's a paper launch. We all know it. The performance upgrade is negligible. And, I mean, I already got this 4080. So, 7% boost to a 5080. That's not worth it to me. But what would be worth it to me is to get this card way quieter. The RDX 4080 from Zodiac. This is an amazing card. I love it. It performs extremely well and I got a great chip. But the fans on this, they are super bad. They're way too loud. They have this scratching kind of noise. They're just super annoying. I cannot tolerate them. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to rip the shroud off, do a de-shroud, and then we're going to slap on some Noctua fans in order to get this card way quieter. All right, so we start with unscrewing the shroud, which is held in place with six small Phillips head screws that are hidden underneath the fan blades. So we are first removing those. Now that we have the fan screws removed, we will remove the plugs for the fans themselves. Those are two connectors, one for the front two fans, one for the single rear one. It's a bit tight and I failed while recording this, I did it a bit off camera, but it's actually not that hard. It's kind of easy. You get a flat-headed screwdriver and just get it in there and wiggle the connector back and forth until it pops off. Okay, now we disconnected the fan connectors, then we need to disconnect the RGB header. This one is a lot harder because it's wedged between the backplate and the heatsink. So we still want to get like a flat head, get it in there and poke at the connector in the right angle as long as we need to until we can finally dislodge it. After that, we now put the old shroud into the GPU box that GPU came in for safekeeping and in case we want to RMA or resell or anything. Okay, next up, I got these 3D printed mounting brackets for my two Noctua fans off of Etsy. I will link the Etsy store in the description. They are done very well so i would recommend them it's a good seller it's decent quality it's a good quality actually Okay, next step is to connect the adapter cable for the two new fans that we will be mounting. You don't necessarily need to do this. You can also run your fans off of your motherboard, which in the end I uh, resorted to doing anyways because the uh, fan control software that I'm using works nicer with the motherboard headers than with the GPU header. After the cable is inserted, we start placing our two Noctua fans. In my case, those are both NFA 12 by 25. 
Noctua fans. They are 120 millimeters, 2.5 centimeters thick. Um, they're, I believe, originally intended for radiators, which in this case is still a very good thing because we are mounting them directly to a heatsink. So any additional static pressure we can get, we will take gladly. Um, yeah, the threaded screws for the fans can be a bit finicky. You just have to get the angle correct and then it will just screw in easily. Okay, the fans are now screwed in. Time to connect them to the adapter cable. Easily just plug them in, they only go one way. Squish the cable somehow in between the fans and add the shroud. Alright, so now that's basically it. Let me just quickly fix this bent heatsink. Okay, time for the benchmarks. Okay, so that's basically it. We are done with the mod itself. All that's left to do is testing. I got the cart installed back in the PC. I left the side panel open so you can see how it looks with the rest of the Noctua fans. I think it fits very well with the rest of them. And with the Fractal North, the black one, it fits amazingly. It looks so good. But that's not what this is about. We're here for noise. And as you can see in the benchmarks that I will put up, um, we got about a 2 to 4 degrees temperature reduction on the sensors. But uh, the super amazing part is that we got like a way quieter PC. So right now, while I'm doing this voiceover, while I'm recording this video, I'm still running 3D Mark. I'm still running Steel Nomad. And it's no issue. So the side panel is open. It's like even louder than it would be normally. The temps are of course amazing. I will put them up on the screen. With the side panel open, that's to be expected. But yeah, not a single noise to be heard from this machine. I got the fan curve optimized, so they never really spin faster than like 60%. Pretty much all the time they stay below 40 and you can't hear anything, which is amazing, which is exactly what I wanted. So, great success, would recommend. Great success. Consider doing a D shroud if you're doing one. Like, you don't have to go Noctua. Honestly, you even shouldn't really. You should look into Arctic and Fulmerite fans. They're way, way cheaper. And they're like, I don't know, 95% as good, 90% as good. Like, the difference isn't all that big. And the savings that you're gonna have are huge. Yeah, but all in all, huge success, consider doing this. See you in the next one.